Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have a video just asking you the question what type of toning do you like? Is there a certain type of toning you like or don't like? And uh, I know I already have some of you saying, I don't like any toning, so no, thank you. Um, this first coin is mostly white with just that hint of toning. So, you know, this is just enough toning to let you know that the coin is original, hasn't been dipped or played with and gentle little light brown toning to it. Next up, we've got a coin in this 1887 that just has a gentle uh, dark tan look to it. A little bit of different colors in there. And it's only one-sided. I don't know if it bothers you or not if a coin is only toned on one side. Do you only want a coin that is toned on both sides? Or is one side okay depending on what it is? All right, this 98O uh, has mostly dark toning, toning on both sides. So a lot of it's dark, but then of course when you catch it at the right light, you get this uh, iridescent uh, blues around the edge. And then especially on the obverse, where you get some of these lighter blues around the edge of the coin. And there's that nice, nice, uh, little bit of some purple and lavender going up into her neckline there. And I've got this 1888, which is mostly white on one side, but then on the back side, we got this crescent tone kind of like it would be if it was in the end of a wrapper. So sometimes they call this, uh, they call this end of roll look where uh, the coin gets that crescent look to it. And this uh, uh, coin is mostly white, doesn't have any distracting toning to it. It just has a uh, nice toning. Uh, all right, I'm totally, totally uh, gonna lead the jury here on this one. Um, but you see this goes from the yellow to the orange, to the purple, to the blue, all the way around this edge here. And I think that's the type of coin that usually you'll see people pay extra for. Now this coin here is interesting because this has overall, um, you know, almost like a hazy iridescent toning over the whole coin on the obverse. And the reverse is really still originally looking blast white with just a touch of the toning to it. Then it's got this nice, I almost think it's like a, a burnt edge. You see how it kind of works from the center out and just progressively changes color. And of course the obverse of the coin, see it's got that kind of like deep haze to it. But then when you get it in the light, all of a sudden everything turns iridescent with the greens and the blues and the orange and the purple, lots of green in there. Look at, see like that above her Liberty cap between the B and the U. Uh, there's greens and teals. I think you don't get quite as much as you see the darker, the almond colors and the browns and the, and the blues. Uh, I think it's a little more rare to see. So did you have a favorite? Do you want just a touch of toning? Of course, no toning at all, you can say. Uh, do you like the gentle darker toning which just tells you it's on uh, one side of the coin? These particular coins here, these last three all have some iridescence to them, the cobalt blue in the corners. Uh, and this one, really, really, most of the toning on the top of this is not attractive. But up close and personal, you get some of those different bright colors to it. It's kind of nice. And then again, the, the crescent. Uh, if you had to pick one of these, which one do you like the best? Thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.